The following Brulin training video depicts best practices cleaning guidelines. Please refer to your facility's policies and procedures for the detailed maintenance of the environment shown. Maintaining a clean and safe environment for patients, staff, and visitors is an important and necessary part of hospital procedure. It is important to combat unwanted and potentially harmful bacteria, germs, and microorganisms. The following video is a step-by-step -step procedural guide of the best practices for cleaning an occupied isolation patient room. Special Isolation Procedures If cleaning an airborne precautions room, you will wear an N95 respirator or a powered air purifier respirator. If wearing a respirator, perform a user sealed check in accordance with training before entering. The cleaning checklist should include low or intermediate level disinfectants, specific to the type of isolation. Follow your facility's protocol. For a C. difficile room, follow the special label instructions for disinfection against C. diff spores. Follow your facility's departmental roles and responsibilities in regards to the cleaning of medical equipment. The correct stocking of the cleaning cart is very important as it will ensure the housekeeper does not need to leave the work area for additional supplies. A properly stocked cart should include, but is not limited to, cleaning products and PPE, restock items, large and small trash bags, linen and bio bags, paper towels, toilet paper, etc. And the tools needed for cleaning, wet floor sign, step stool, cleaning cloth saturated with disinfectant, etc. Position the cart outside the patient room on the correct side of the hallway. All equipment should be placed on the same side of the hall, leaving one side of the hallway completely open for patient transport. Review the door sign for the isolation condition and instructions. PPE will be available outside the room. Perform hand hygiene. Put on the required PPE before entering the room and always check the fit of your PPE before entering. If you're wearing a gown, Pull your gloves up over the gown cuffs to limit skin exposure. Knock and announce yourself, including your name and department. Inform the patient that you are here to clean and disinfect their room and give a timeline for completion. Leave the EVS cart in the hallway and transport supplies and equipment into the room and close the door. Inspect the room and report any maintenance issues, such as bulbs that need replacing or loose tiles. Place any debris or disposable items into the trash. Place any soiled towels into the used linen bag. Remove all trash and used linen liners. Tying the bag and keeping away from the body during transport. Trashed and used linen bags should be placed by the door. Clean the inside and outside of all trash containers and allow to air dry. Place used cloths in a facility approved container. Reline the container with the appropriate liner prior to mopping the floor. With a saturated cleaning cloth, begin the disinfection cleaning process at the door of the room. Moving in a set pattern, damp wipe all surfaces around the room, cleaning high to low, paying attention to high touch areas. High touch areas include, but are not limited to, doorknobs and pulls, light switches, sanitizer dispensers, in-room sink area, in-room soap and paper towel dispenser, closet handles, window sills and ledges, furniture bumpers, and other surfaces. Check walls and spot clean if needed. Change the cleaning cloth as often as it becomes visually soiled or begins to dry out. Discard the soiled cleaning cloth after completing patient room surfaces. If cleaning a C. difficile room, starting with a new clean cloth, complete the disinfection process beginning at the door of the room. Moving in a set pattern, damp wipe all surfaces again in the room from high to low, paying attention to high touch areas. Spot clean the windows with ammonia-free glass cleaner. Continue in the area around the patient. 
Start the cleaning disinfecting process with cleaning cloth saturated in disinfectant solution. Care should be taken to respect the patient's personal space. Follow facility policy regarding the cleaning of bed rails and overbed table when a patient is present. Areas that should be cleaned in the patient area include, but are not limited to, telephone, the call button and TV remote, bedside table, top and front of footboard, wall mounted TV or computer monitor. Always follow manufacturer instructions for medical equipment cleaning. Check the privacy curtain for any issues or stains before leaving the area. Report if curtain needs to be changed. Discard the used cleaning cloth in the appropriate container. In the restroom, clean the mirror with ammonia-free glass cleaner. Clean sink with disinfectant cleaning cloth. Clean all surfaces including the soap dispenser, counter, faucet and handles, sink basin, and exposed pipes below the sink. Move to the shower and clean all surfaces including the curtain rod, pull chain, fixtures, wall grab bars, and floors. Discard the soiled cleaning cloth. Pour bowl cleaner into the toilet under the rim and allow appropriate dwell time. With a new cleaning cloth, clean the toilet surface with disinfectant, starting with the handle and continuing in the exterior areas of the toilet including the base and around the outer bowl. Discard the cleaning cloth. Clean the inside of the toilet with a Johnny mop, making sure that only the inside of the bowl is touched with the mop. Return mop back to the Johnny mop bucket. Flush the toilet. Remove gloves and discard. Perform hand hygiene and don new gloves. Replace consumable supplies at the bedside. Refill soap, sanitizer, and paper towel dispensers. Inspect the room. Inform the patient that you will now be mopping the floor to complete the cleaning process. Ask the patient if there's anything else that you can do for them. Remind them that the floor will be slippery when wet. Starting in the far corner of the room, mop the floor with a flat mop using only the leading edge in a figure eight motion. Be sure to move furniture and clean under the bed, moving toward the bathroom and the door. Enter the bathroom and mop the bathroom floor. Place used cloths and flat mops in a facility approved container. Trashed and used linen bags should be placed into the correct containers. Remove PPE before leaving the room. Carefully pull your PPE off by grabbing less exposed areas and dispose of properly. Avoid touching the outside of these items as infectious organisms may have settled there. If wearing a mask or respirator, remove it after leaving the room. Immediately perform hand hygiene and don new gloves. With a new disinfectant saturated cloth, wipe down mop handles, bottles, and other reusable supplies and equipment and return to the cart. Remove gloves, discard, complete the quality checklist. Following your facility's procedures regarding the proper storage, use, and disposal of cleaning supplies and equipment is necessary to safeguard against cross-contamination or the act of spreading bacteria and viruses from one surface to another. <laughs>